Well, here we are for our weekly update. Thank you all for joining. We've got 19 days remaining in this campaign. So I'm going to tell you like I always do. Vote for Cole Peacock on November 2nd. This week was a great week for us. We had a really good debate with our opponent, and we got a ton of positive feedback and a lot of congratulations. So thank you to all the supporters who showed up and all the kind words that have been coming our way. I want to give you a couple of issues that we're looking to take to Tallahassee. Now, one of them is cost-benefit analysis legislation, and that's real simple in what that is. If the cost doesn't equal the benefit, it shouldn't be legislation to start with. The other is tax and fees. Everyone's worried about taxes going up and their fees going up. That's not something I'm looking to do or will do. Legislature, as of late, has been passing increased fees and not calling them taxes. Fees are taxes. We're not going to do either one of those things. I also want to let you know that uh, with 19 days left, the campaign has become uh, under attack with negative campaigns. They are sending out negative campaign material that has my face grayed out. They're making claims. Don't believe the hype. Stay positive with us. Look at the issues. Vote for the background. Vote for the experience. And vote for the right person and not the rhetoric that fills your mailboxes. I want to thank you for spending time with us today. I'm going to remind you again to vote for Cole Peacock on November 2nd. See you next time. See you next time. Well, here we are with 28 days to go until Election Day. Remember to vote for Cole Peacock on November 2nd. We're going to spend uh, some time with you once a week for the next 28 days, giving you updates on where we are with the campaign. We'll be talking issues that are important to us, like education. We'll be talking about waterways, community involvement that we have currently and that we'll continue to have once elected, jobs, and how to run the state like a business. Some of the other things I'd like to share with you is where we are on the campaign. We have been working tirelessly every day from the beginning. We've been walking the district through the primary and into the general. And I can tell you just in the last couple weeks, we've knocked on over 3,000 doors. And it's a great feeling to shake someone's hand and leave knowing they're voting for you. We're crossing party lines every single day. We're picking up independents, we're picking up Republicans, and we're securing Democrats. A couple dates I want to make sure you're aware of. Your absentee ballots have gone out in the mail. Return them voting for Cole Peacock, and you can do that right up to the end of the election. Also, on October 18, early voting takes place, and you can do that in several different locations across the county. Some endorsements and support that we have in this campaign that are near and dear to our heart, I'd like to let you know the teachers are involved with us. We've got their support. We've got the firefighters. We have the police officers. We've got the Florida Consumer Action Network. We've got the Florida Forestry Association. We've got support and endorsements from elected officials. On the Republican side and the Democratic side, Alex Sink has endorsed us. Councilman Mike Flanders has endorsed. Commissioner Ray Judah. Community activists like Erlene Sanders, uh, Sam Galloway, and Scott Fisher, along with people like Bob Schrader. We're picking up support across the aisle every single day, and we're very proud of it. Stay tuned for our next update. Thank you very much.